Right, hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video we are going to look at uh, the third type of uh, partial fractions that is partial fractions where the denominators of the fraction contain uh, quadratic uh, factors or quadratic polynomials so if uh, in that case what we are saying is that the quadratic polynomial is not factorizable you cannot reduce it to linear polynomials and so when it is in that case how do you you know reduce the fraction into its partial fraction like here now x squared plus 2 is not factorizable and then even though there's a linear factor here but this one is not factorizable this one is not factorizable and uh, also with this so what do you do with such fractions when you want to reduce them to their partial fractions okay Okay, so this is going to give us, of course, here, yeah, because we have two factors here, one linear, one quadratic, you are going to have two partial fractions. The first partial fraction, the denominator is going to be a constant, because, sorry, the numerator is going to be a constant because the denominator is linear. So you have A all over X minus 1. Plus, now, the numerator of the second factor is not going to be a constant because the denominator is quadratic. So the numerator is going to be at least one degree less than the what? The denominator. And so we are going to have it this way. Bx plus c. X squared plus 2. You can see that Bx plus c is a linear polynomial. So, and then we go back to our duty, which is to look for the value of a, b, and c. And to do that, we want to form our identical polynomial. And so we say our identical polynomial sorry our identical polynomial is going to be 2x squared minus x sorry this thing here is plus 1 so we have 2x squared minus x plus 3 is equivalent to now x plus 1 will cancel here so we have a into x squared plus 2 then plus the numerator here is bx plus c times the denominator here, which is x plus 1. And so to find the value of our, our constants here, we'll try to see if we can eliminate. And of course, here we can eliminate if we make x minus 1 here. And so we're going to have let x be minus 1. So if our x is minus 1, we are going to have 2 plus 1, which is 3 plus 1, and that will give us 6 is equal to minus 1 here is 1 plus 2 is 3, and that will give us 3a. But if you put minus 1 here, everything here will turn to 0. And so we, we will get our a here to be equal to 6 over 3, which is equal to 2. And so quickly we come over this side. Now here, we, it, there is nothing we can put as x to eliminate a. Now, because if anything you put here, whether negative or positive, this square will change it to positive. So, and I said in such case, you start by letting your x to be zero. And so if we let our x be zero here, it means that we're going to have only three left here. And that will be equal to x to be zero here. We'll have 2a. If we let our x be zero here, this b will go. And so we'll have only c. If we let our zero here, we'll have only one. 1 times c is equal to c. Okay, so we have plus c here. And that means 3 is equal to our a is 6. Sorry, is 2. 2 times um, 2 is 4 plus c. So this means that our c alone is equal to 3 minus 4. And that's equal to what? Negative 1. And so we have gotten our a and our c. And so to get our b, all we need to do is to try to expand, to apply the first method, which means we want to expand this particular equation and then try to equate the coefficient of some of the uh, variables. Okay, so let's expand the, 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 the equation first. Let's bring out what we have. So if we expand, we are going to have 2x squared minus x plus 3 will be equivalent to if a comes here you have ax squared plus 2a 
now if you open up this one bx will multiply everything here so bx times x will give us bx squared and bx times 1 will give us bx then c times x will give us cx and c times 1 will give us c okay so at this point we'll try to gather the like terms and if we do that we'll have 2x squared minus x plus 3 is equivalent to if you bring these two together you are going to have a plus b all times x squared that means we're factorizing x squared and then here if we bring if we bring these other two together we are going to have b plus c multiplying x and then you bring the constants together which is 2a plus c but here our interest is in finding b and so we can make use of any one that contains b the coefficient of x squared has b the coefficient of x has b so we choose one and so if we use the coefficient of x squared so it means since the both of them uh, are coefficient of x squared on both sides so they are supposed to be equal so a plus b must be equal to 2 and since we already have b a as equal to 2 that means uh, what you have here is 2 plus b must be equal to 2 therefore b alone if you take this 2 over to this side will give you 0 and that is uh, the value of b so we have gotten c as minus 1 b as 0 and a as 2 so if we introduce that into our um, partial fraction which is a all over x plus 1 that is going to give us a is 2 so we have 2 all over x plus 1 then plus our b is 0 so if you put b as 0 here everything here will go so and then our c is minus 1 so you have minus 1 all over x squared plus 2 therefore uh, that is finally going to give us 2 all over x plus 1 then minus because plus minus is minus 1 all over x squared plus 2 and that is uh, the required solution okay so that's how to solve uh, partial fractions with uh, quadratic denominators and so we're going to look at the second example okay so for number two here this one we have the same thing one linear factor one quadratic factor that is not factorizable so we'll try to um split them and to do that the linear factor is going to have a constant all over x minus one plus the quadratic factor is going to have a, a linear denominator so bx plus c remember you can use any alphabet for your constant it's not composite you will use a b and c d and all of that you can start with x um, p q m and all of that so this will be over 2x squared plus 3x minus 4 okay so as usual we want to find our identical polynomial which is 2x squared plus x plus 3 is identical to a this would remove this so you have only this left which is 2x squared plus 3x minus 4 then plus bx plus c and um, this will take away this so you have only x minus 1 left and so here we have gotten our identical polynomial so we want to eliminate of course straight away we can eliminate this by taking our x to be equal to 1 and so if we make our x to be 1 positive 1 the whole of this will be 2 plus 1 that's 3 plus uh, 3 that's 6 to be equal to now everything here will be 1 that's times 2 2 plus 3 that's 5 5 minus 4 is 1 and 1 times a is a so our a is simply equal to 6 and that's straight away okay what about uh, okay let me use this what about our b and c you remember you start with letting your x to be 0 since there is nothing that you can put here that will eliminate and uh, make a to be 0 okay so uh, we try to make our 
x to be 0. So, and if we do that, everything here will go. You have only 3 left. And that's equal to, if everything here becomes 0, you have minus 4a. b will be 0 here. So, you have only c. And uh, 0 minus x, uh, minus 1 will give you minus 1 times c is also minus 1. And um, you remember, we already have our a. And our a is uh, given, let me come down here. So we have 3 is equal to, a is 6. 6 times this is minus 24 minus c. Okay, so if we take c to this side, we'll have positive c. Minus 3 will come over here. So you have, sorry, 3 will come over here to be minus, And that will give us minus 27 as the value of our c. And having gotten the value for c, we now need to get the value for b by doing the same expansion and comparing coefficients. So you can see there are three steps, basically, that will always help you whenever you have this kind of uh, partial fractions. So you can uh, eliminate here these two to get this one. And then after you've done that, you put x as 0, and that eliminates b and helps you to get c. And then you now expand to get uh, the coefficients and compare them. So let's quickly do that. And in doing that, you are going to have 2x squared plus x plus 3 is equivalent to, if you open here now, we are going to have 2ax squared plus 3ax minus 4a. Now, while here, you are going to have bx times x will give us bx squared bx times minus 1 is minus bx, and c times x is cx, c times minus 1 is minus 1. I would like us to use the coefficient of x squared, and if we make use of that, these are the only two containing x squared. The rest are not relevant for us in what we want to do, so we can just make use of those two. So, and if we gather those two, we are going to have 2a plus b, and then x squared will be outside. So the rest are really not important. So the coefficient of x squared is this, and the coefficient of x squared on the left-hand side is 2. So we can come here and equate the two of them. So that means 2a plus b is equal to 2. And so we want to get the value of b, and that means our b is equal to 2 minus 2a. And so what is our 2? Our a is is a 6, so you multiply by 6, that will give us 2 minus 12, which is equal to minus 10. So we have gotten our A to be 6, we have gotten our B to be minus 10, and our C to be minus 27. And so if we put all of that here, that means our partial fraction is equal to A6 all over X minus 1, then plus our b is uh, minus 10, and so you have minus 10x, and our c is minus 27, so you have minus 27 all over. Here you will now have 2x squared plus 3x minus 4, okay? Okay, so let's quickly write the remaining part of it here. Yeah? And so from here we are going to have um let me use this we're going to have minus sorry six all over x minus one now look at here negative negative so we want to factorize out that negative and when you multiplies this you now have minus so you remove minus here so you just have 10x and you remove minus here so it will now be plus 27 all over here you now have 2x squared plus 3x minus 4, and that is the required solution, the partial fraction for this given fraction here. And so that's basically how to solve or to resolve a, a fraction containing a quadratic uh, a factor in this denominator into its partial fraction. Um, this is where we're going to stop for this video. So kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll give you more content on this and the other remaining types of partial fractions. Uh, like, share, 
and comment on our videos you can always reach out to us through our emails and um, on our social media handles all right see you in our next video thanks for watching bye